we recently released a new drawing tool called Signpost. That's right. It is called Signpost, and you can find it, if you're looking at our mouse here, right here in the Annotation Tools menu, and then move your mouse down, and here's Signpost. Click the tool to select it, and then you can place a signpost anywhere on your chart. This is a signpost. And then once the signpost has been, uh, you know, placed on your chart, you can move it around. You can change its distance from the price point that you select. You can put this below price or above price. And what we'll do now is delete this title screen so we can just show you, for example, something you could create with the new signpost tool. What we have here is a chart of the S&P 500. The ticker is SPX. And what we've done is we've added signposts to key events so that we can maintain our own timeline of sorts so we know what's happening on the chart. For example, we made this signpost that says before COVID-19. We added this signpost because this was the bottom of the COVID-19 crash. And then of course we made some other signposts about some big macroeconomic events that happened like the record stimulus packages and other support from the Fed. And then these are just some examples. This is a signpost. You know, we add a signpost here and even added an emoji into the text. We pointed out this all-time high here. And even these two drops about an election uncertainty part one and election uncertainty part two. So that is the signpost tool. And it's as easy as going to your annotation tools, clicking, selecting signpost, finding a key point on your chart and selecting it, adding some text. This is the text for our signpost and then dragging the signpost exactly to where you want it so we hope that this quick tutorial helps you get started with our new tool called signpost and remember it's an annotation tool right here this easy on your menu if you want to you know favorite this all you have to do is click the star and then this toolbar will float here on any chart that you create and keep in mind what we did with the signpost in this video is we created sort of a, you know, a, a, a chart that shows key events and key moments in time. But you can do a lot more with this. If you wanted to, for example, you could keep track, say, of, you know, of some notes that you don't want to forget about, you know, so you could write something instead. As an example, like, um, let's say on this day, I traded APL. So in this example, we would keep this signpost here to remind ourselves that exactly on this day, we traded AAPL, that's ticker Apple. You could also do things, for example, you know, where you could actually uh, embed a link. So if you wanted to add a news story, right, you could get your link, add it here. This is a link.com. And then you know on your chart, okay, this is, uh, I want to revisit this web page on this date whenever I come back to this chart. So maybe it's a personal blog you maintain or some other article you wanna keep track of. So there's all sorts of ways you could use Signpost and we look forward to seeing the different ways that you use it. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And to delete a Signpost, by the way, you just click it and then press delete on your keyboard and it's instantly removed. So questions and comments, leave them below in the comment section of this video. We are open to all types of feedback as well. So if you want us to build a tool for you, also let us know, we just may build something for you. Thanks for watching this video and we hope it helps you get started with our new signpost tool. There are other videos in our TradingView YouTube account that you should watch to learn more about all of these drawing tools. In fact, we have an entire video series about all the annotation tools. We walk you through how to use every annotation tool. We also have a new video up about trendline tools. We walk you through how to use all of these trendline tools. So please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it if you can, or even better, send us some feedback so we can keep making our YouTube channel better. Thank you for watching, and we hope you get started with our new signpost tool. And we will see everyone later. There's our signpost. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it.